Hi, I'm Darnell Cox with Live Young Lifestyle, and here comes the sun, folks. Summer is upon us, and today, we're gonna discover the right way to protect our skin from it. So I'm gonna go through what I consider to be the right way to protect your skin from the sun. And the sun contributes to 80% of our aging people. That's a lot. So we need to figure out the right way to protect it. There is an amazing amount of sun rays that come through windows. You go outside to just walk your dog for five minutes, you're getting sun. You get into your car, you're getting sun, even while you're driving. Um, there's this one famous photo about a truck driver that you can, you can Google online, where he's driven a truck his whole life, and they do a, do a picture of his face, and half of his face, it's about 20 years older than the right side of his face, because that was the driver's side. So that's a really good way to just realize like how much damage is done just from something simple like getting in a car or, or you know, being in a well-lit room, the sun bounces off of everything. And even when we feel like we're protected, you know, we have a hat on. Some of the, the beautiful hats that people wear, they have holes all through them. You need a hat that is completely solid. There's no sun that can get through here. So that's really important as well. Um, so make sure when you wash your face in the morning, and you brush your teeth, you don't leave your bathroom without putting sunscreen on. So I wanna show you some of the products that I use. For the body, I really like this La Roche-Posay. It's a factor 60, and it just kind of melts in. So it's moisturizing. I feel it makes my skin look better and a little bit like shiny. This is a really good one. It's a factor 60. This from Sun Sabelle is a factor 30, but there's a tent in it. So I feel like it makes my skin um, a little more even tone. And, and I love that about this. So these are the two that I use for my body. For my face, I really love this Zo Skin Health. This is my favorite, favorite product. Um, it comes out almost like kind of foamy, not foamy, but it's very lightweight and it has like reflective properties in it. So it works kind of to hide imperfections in your skin. It's also a primer for under makeup, which I love. It's slightly tinted. It has melanin in the actual sunscreen so that it tricks the sun into concentrating on this melanin you've applied on the outside while leaving your skin completely protected. Genius. When I, on my no makeup makeup days, which you know, that's the hot trend now, no makeup makeup. Um, you'll have to watch my makeup chair chit chat um, with Jenny to, to learn more about that. But I love this foundation. It's actually a tinted sunscreen with a broad spectrum of SPF 45. It's for all skin types, so it kind of adjusts to your skin tone. It comes in a matte and an original, which is more moisturizing, but it works as a really lightweight foundation with an SPF 45. And most foundations only have an SPF 50. Um, it's completely layered. You can layer this as well to get more coverage. So I love this. You know, there's that whole thing that they say you have to reapply sunscreen after 30 minutes. For women, it's really difficult to do that because, you know, we have makeup on, we have blush on. We don't want to put like, you know, another moisturizing thing on top of that that will smear all of our layers of stuff around. This, I never leave home without. This is by Brush on Block. It's a Factor 30 mineral powder um, sunscreen, and all you do is brush it on. So it takes any shine away, but it also protects your skin with an SPF of 30. So your makeup stays in place. It just kind of mattifies your makeup a little bit, and it's genius. So I love these. You should never leave home without this. In addition, so have this in your purse. Also have it in your glove box of your car. Have a sunscreen in the glove box of your car because when you're driving, your hands are so exposed and we wash our hands all day long. So we're continually washing that sunscreen off of our hands. The second you get in the car, put a dab on your hands, rub them together so that your hands are protective. You don't need it on your palms, but just rub the back of your hands so that your hands are protective. Brush a little extra sunblock on. Make sure you have this on in the morning. Um, if you're outdoors, of course you need to reapply. But what, is, what I'm really into right now is I'm, I've become one of those women that walks around with an umbrella. So, and I'm fine with that. And one thing that people don't realize is I'm sitting under an umbrella now, it only blocks about 70% of the sun's rays. So when you are sitting poolside or beachside and you think you're protected because you're under an umbrella, 
you're not. That's why you're still gradually getting, getting sun damage. You have to really protect yourself with something that cannot be penetrated by the sun, or this is a sun umbrella, which I love. It also works for the rain, but it has a reflective properties and it blocks 100% of the sun's rays. So change your umbrellas to ones that you, that you know are doing your skin some good. So here's the recap. Whether you're leaving the house or not, you need to wear sunscreen every single day. There's a lot of sun that comes through the windows. In your car, you should always have a hat. You should always have sunscreen to put on the back of your hands and a travel sunscreen, which I love the mineral-based one um, to go over my makeup. Remember that you're not always protected from umbrellas. Just because you're in the shade does not mean you're protected. You need to get one of these sun umbrellas, which I love. So that's it. The sun is coming. It doesn't mean that you have to hide from it. We just need to know how to protect ourselves. And that's a really good way to live young.